Hello guys, let me introduce you what I think is the best unguided anti-tank system today and that it's available on the international market. So here we have RGV90HH unguided anti-tank missile. Why is it in my opinion one of the best? It's the performance and it's the simplicity of use. Made by Dynamit Nobel in conjunction uh, with Singaporean and other German basically manufacturers and armed forces. The original demand came out of Singapore, Germans helped out to make it happen and this is improved version of it called Matador. The total weight is 8.9 kilograms. The maximum range is 500 meters but it's more like aerial targets. Better it's use it up to 200-300 meters. There is possibility of mounting a night vision on this one. Basically we have a flip up module here with Picatinny rail. Here the Picatinny rail is missing already. It should be here because we tossed this one around a lot. The rail broke off. The primary sighting system is this foldable optic with very positive index, very positive locking mechanism. You can fold it on both sides. Here it's in use. I will insert a picture of the reticle, which seems kind of confusing, but at the end it's extremely intuitive. After putting up the optic as your sighting system, you can deploy the butt pad. Again, just with pressure, like so. Then the front handle. Again, just pressure downwards. And then the rear handle, which also cock the firing mechanism. Put tension on the firing mechanism spring. Locked safely in place. And now to shoot it, you don't need to remove any caps, nothing. You just use the safety with your thumb, sight it in and you are ready to go. Also, is confined space uh, usable, so you can uh, shoot it out of small rooms without giving yourself and others concussion. Which is, yeah, it's amazing. The counterweight for it, it's uh, plastic pellets. So basically, they act as the counterweight for the projectile to like uh, get the impulse from they fly out from the other side the safe distance is two three meters what it can beat it can beat up to five centimeters of homogeneous armor which is amazing performance 84 can do only like 350 millimeters feature that i like a lot about this one it's a combined uh, combined mode it can do either hash which mean Against brick wall, against structures, it basically penetrates up to three rows of brick and kills with explosion behind the bricks, with overpressure. For this hash mode, you just keep this rod in as in transport position. Now for the heat mode, you just apply pressure like so. Remove the distance rod all the way and twist it as the arrow tell you, until this yellow line appear. In this configuration, it's ready to be used as an anti-tank weapon with the maximum performance of up to five centimeters of rod homogeneous armor. So in a normal position, as I carry it on me, it's always retracted in case of tanks. If there is need to bre breach a structure, I will always have enough time to put the rod back into the squish mode, unscrew it, press it in, I'm done. Another great feature of this system is that the projectile is engineered in such a way that is kind of insensitive to the side window. So you don't need to do any wind corrections, you just use the reticle for the speed of the moving object and it will land it there, land there always, okay? Of course, there are limits to that. If the wind is extreme, of course, it will influence it, but generally it's not something you need to count with. 